Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and welcome back to part two of four of our MDT 2013 and driver management. Okay, uh, so today is uh, I'm going to show you guys scenario number one, and in scenario number one, I call this total chaos. Uh, this scenario has the following assumptions. Uh, this is for a small company. They're only deploying one operating system, let's say Windows 8.1, 64-bit, and they have a few hardware models from the same vendor. The key thing here are that they are deploying just one family of operating systems and that the hardware is from the same vendor. The reason is that the larger vendors do test capabilities among their own models per operating system family so it's quite rare that a driver from one model will interfere with another driver so the solution for this scenario is basically I recommend that you stick everything uh, stick with the default plug-and-play ID detection based method for drivers uh, and basically just drop everything into the out-of-box folder that's it that's what that's kind of that's why I call it the total chaos and and it it kind of sucks to do it that way because you don't really have management but again if you have a small group of people that you're managing and you want to take advantage of uh, the out of box I would just basically go to right click import drivers locate everything that you need to do like I'm doing right now so I'm just gonna locate uh, a bunch of drivers I'm gonna uh, locate the the chipset okay and hit next hit finish uh, it's gathering all the NIC drivers actually not the NIC drivers but it's gathering all the drivers that it need and I'm just placing it inside the out of box driver that's it that's the total chaos scenario it's not the best thing to do uh, but it's it works great if you're only doing if you're dealing only with uh, let's say 20 or 30 people in your office Okay, and especially if you have the same hardware throughout the entire office, it doesn't really matter if you have a, any organization. As you can see, I dropped everything in one node, update the deployment share, and then when it's time for you to deploy uh, your operating system, it's going to grab everything or pick everything that it needs. And that's about it, guys. That is the first scenario of driver management, which I call it total chaos. Uh, it's really up to you. Again, this scenario is best used for small companies if, if with the same hardware, same vendor. Hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll catch you guys later. And don't forget about hitting that like button. Peace out.